Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back today to another NBA 2K18 My League Rebuild, and today we are doing the Journeyman Rebuild. So this rebuild was suggested by Sonic Boom 363 he said do a Journeyman Rebuild where you can only have players who have been on 5 or more NBA teams in their career. So, that is what we are doing today. It is going to be a very, very difficult challenge. Okay, Jeremy Lin's actually somebody we could get. So, I am using the Lakers because I think the best player that's been on 5 or more teams in the NBA, or at least in 2K is Isaiah Thomas. He's been on the Lakers, the Celtics, the Suns, the Kings, and the Cavs. So that's five teams he's been on. It doesn't say he was on the Cavs in this, but he's been on five. So guys like Brandon Ingram, we're going to have to trade. Guys like Julius Randle, guys like Brooke Lopez, guys like Alonzo Ball, we're going to have to move on from. Same with Coop. basically everybody on this team, but like Channing Fry. Um, has Walt Dang been on five teams? I don't even think he has. Uh, Chicago, Miami, Cleveland, and LA, that's only four. So, yeah, this is going to be very tough. So, like, Jeremy Lin, Isaiah Thomas, Dave Ringham Bell, hopefully free agency. There's a lot of people that were on four teams because then we could pick them up and we would be their fifth team. So, this challenge is going to be very difficult. So, obviously, we can't draft any rookies. This challenge is tough, actually. I should have definitely made an exception on it or maybe, like, four teams. But the Lakers don't even have their pick and the Sixers get it. And it went up to number two. Also, start today is still broken. So, I had to simulate the whole regular season. Um, I'm actually going to fire Luke Walton because his ratings aren't the best. Uh, let's pick up Steve Clifford. Why not? And we do need a new GM. Uh, a lot of people said this guy's also good, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pick him up. Eli Best for this one. And we have Gregory Peterson. He's basically as good as Jimmy Lynch. So do we pick them up? Best and Clifford. We pick up Best and we pick up Steve Clifford. Okay. So let's go to the NBA draft now. I'm probably going to trade for Jeremy Lin if he's trade like if I could trade for him right now. Player finder, point guard. Like, I don't know. Like, I think Lowry's only been on two teams yet. What is Drew Holiday? You've just been on two, right? Yep. This challenge is tough. Uh, Drogic has been on. He was on Houston? I forgot he was on Houston. He's been on, what, three? But yeah, let's definitely try to trade for Jeremy Lin right now. Beverly's def. Now, Beverly's only been on two. Oh my god, this challenge is tough. Alright, let's trade, because Jeremy Lin's been on a lot. He's been on New York, Golden State, Houston, LA. Oh my god, I forgot he was on LA. Charlotte, Brooklyn, I think he's been on six or something like that. So, um, I'll give you Josh Hart this pick, yeah, because I can't keep Josh Hart. So that trade is done. This trade, this challenge is going to be very tough, because I don't even know many big men. Like, Dwight Howard... Oh my god, I think Dwight Howard's been on four teams. So, when Dwight Howard's a free agent, I can go after him. But, like, none of these guys have really been my journey, man. Like, Aldridge has been on two. Love has been on two. Whiteside's only been on two. What is DeAndre Jordan? I think, yeah, only one. Al Horford, only two. Dwight Howard's been on one, two, three, four. Okay, never mind. Dwight Howard is definitely somebody we're going to trade for. Can we trade for him now? Okay, what about if we did... Wall Dang, so we're gonna make the contracts work out. Wall Dang and Brandon Ingram. Oh, we're gonna wait till after the draft. That's cool with me. Okay, do we even have our first round pick? Okay, good because we obviously can't bring anybody in. So uh, we are. I, I can't wait for saying Dwight, Dwight Howard's a journeyman. That's crazy. Like a top, honestly, I think ten center of all time. But yeah, we're gonna bring back them so we can trade him. We're saying he's a journeyman. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer as well. So let's pick him up. Eighty six. Uh, trade finder. We can do Lonzo straight up. We can do Kuzma to first win. Okay. Let's do Ingram. And you gotta take Wall Dang off my hands. Uh, I mean, if Malik Monk can get us somebody else, and I'll give you, uh, four seconds. Like, does Dwight Howard that have that much value? Okay, fine. Let's just do this trade. So, Brandon Ingram for Dwight Howard. We picked that up. So, we have, like, three starters, technically, in Dwight... Thomas and Lynn. Who are the best shooting guards, small forwards that we could pick up? Definitely nobody here. Um, Middleton's been on two. Okay, Wu Will. Wait, Wu Will's been on one, two, three, four. Wu Will's been on five. All right, we're definitely going to trade for Wu Will. How many Tyreek Evans been on? Oh, he's only been on f what? One, two. He's only been on three. Damn it. All right. Let's trade for Wu Will, though. Uh, can we do Kuzma straight up for Wu Will? And I'll throw you a future first. Come on, what are you, you're getting a 20, what, a 22 year old for a 33 year old? 31 year old for a 22 year old? Let's do this trade. 
Oh my god, I'll give you I'll give you Zubak in this deal too. Oh my god. How much are you valuing? And I'll give you two first round packs. Jesus. Uh one first round pack. And a couple seconds. Oh my god. Oh my god. How much do you value this guy? Holy crap. Lou Will's actually gonna take two first round picks off me? Jesus. I, I, I have to get Lou Will. He's literally like one of the best options I could get. Oh my god! Why won't they trade me Lou Will? I would have to think about my pick next year in Kuzma. Has Gallon already been on five teams? One, two, no, he's only been on three. Crap. Um I mean they want my pick next year. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do my pick next year, but we're putting a protection on it. We're gonna make it top five protected for Wu Will. Uh, can we do top ten protected? And I will give you freaking like Zubak. Oh my! Since when did Wu Will turn into the Anthony Davis of being hard to trade for? I'll give you this first, and that's it. Holy crap. Okay, I'm making it top three protected. I don't want any... Uh, I don't want any... Uh, actually, can we do top five? Okay, yeah, we can. Uh, I think this will work. And I'll give you Zubak. And I'll give you two seconds. Oh my god. Why is it so hard to trade for Wu Will? I can't believe I'm about to do this. Can I make it top ten protected? And Kuzma? Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to figure out what... Well, actually, finally, Jesus Christ. Why is it so hard to trade for Lou Will? All right, so we have, like, our six-man in win. Like, Lonzo's still a huge piece. I mean, we still need a power forward to a small forward. So who's, like, the best option here? How many teams most have been on? Just three, right? Yeah. Uh, oh. Damn it. Uh, Tobias Harris has been on. How many? One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to make this an exception for Tobias, like, for, like, not really an exception, but say we trade for him, we would be his fifth team. So therefore, I think we're good with the challenge. So we are going to be trading Alonzo Ball for Tobias Harris. Would you be able to give me a first? Okay, what about a future first? No, I want the first that I gave you. Yeah. And I'll throw you a future first. Okay, fine. Um, Throw me a future first. Okay, can we just do Lonzo for Tobias? What? Why is it so hard? What? Thank you. Why is trading so hard? Okay, so looking at this team, I think we just really need a good small forward. But yeah, I could sound like a Paul George and trade him. So qualifying offers, Julius Randle, yes. I'm probably I'm going to have to trade him anyway. Oh my god, the bench is going to even be like tougher. So I can't believe Tobias Harris has been on five teams at the age of 26. It's like technically since we just traded for him. That's nuts. Okay, uh, I don't think there's going to be anybody here. That have been on five teams. Chris Paul's been on three. So if he was on four, technically we could have traded for him. Uh, and his canner. Wait. We would be his fourth. Ah, uh, we'd be his fourth team, not his fifth team. Damn it. Tyreek Evans, same thing. We'd be his fourth team, not his fifth team. Chris Bosh. Ah, uh, technically he's only been on three. Uh, Isaiah Thomas we already have. Oh, uh, we're going to have to bring him back. Oh my god, we have a lot of free agents. Isaiah Thomas, please come back. Brick Lopez, I need to trade you, so please come back. Uh, Channing Fry, you're gonna have to play on the bench, so please come back. And Calwell Pope, I would like to trade you as well, so please come back. So we get Thomas, we get Lopez, we get Fry. Let's read out the rights on Payton, Caruso, Ingram. I'm sorry, Goat. Ware, Brian, and Ennis. Okay. Now, I mean, like, if I could sign Paul George, let's do it, but. Actually, no, let's not even bother. Um. How many teams is Greg Monroe been on? Uh, oh, he's just been on, f oh, we'd be his fourth. Wade has been on, we'd be his fourth. Michael Beasley, definitely somebody we could pick up. And let me make sure I get KCP back. I mean, if I can't, like, sound Beasley, I could definitely trade KCP for him. So we pick up, all right, we pick up KCP. I'm going to just trade KCP for probably Beasley down the line. Um, is there anybody, like, down, no Noel's been on, too. Gerald Green, definitely could pick up. How many Alfred Pages been on two? JaVale McGee, definitely a journeyman so far. Let's try to get him. I don't even know if we'll have the money. Kyle Quinn, how many teams have you been on? Just two, right? Yep. Wade Ellington. Okay, Wade Ellington's definitely a journeyman. All right. So we're going to bring back Randall. 
We're gonna sign Green. We're gonna we can't sign McGee nor Ellington. I'm actually gonna Ellington is 30, Green is 32. We're gonna sign Ellington over Green. So yeah, we bring those guys back. So we have 11 players on roster now. Uh, I can't get like Michael Beasley. Can we get McGee still? He wants five mil. Like why? How many teams is like Willie Reed been been on? Okay, just two. FK Udo's been on one, two, three, four. Would be his fifth. So let's try to pick him up, and I'll see you guys start next season where I'm going to have to trade a bunch of players, a.k.a. Brooke Lopez, a.k.a. Joyce Randall, a.k.a. KCP. All right, so we're at training camps. I don't even know who I want to send, so let's definitely send Tobias Harris. Oh, my God, this team is so old. Who will I want to send so he doesn't regress? Same with Dwight Howard. He's gone down two overalls. Wonderful. All right, so I got to trade. How many players do I have that can actually, like, play? Like, my, I always play nine players, so I have one, two. Is Jared Bayless a journeyman? He is. So he could be like a like a last resort. So we have two, three, four. We don't have a um. Well, he would be five, six, seven is Fry. Okay. Um, we need a power forward to slash small forward because like it depends where I'm gonna play Randall. So small forward slash power forward. Who has been on either four or five teams? Kevin Love has been on two. Obviously Blake Griffin's been on two. Tatum. Uh, Tobias Harris, we already have. Paul Millsap's been on three. If he was on four, we could definitely make a trade for him, but unfortunately, he wasn't. Um, Barnes has been on two. Chris Bosch has been on three. Uh, now we're starting to get to some really bad options. I mean, like, not really bad options, but, like, not the best. Mello, he's only been on three. Um, Portis, three. Miritich, two. Rudy Gay has been on one, two... Three, four. So I believe if we do trade for Rudy Gay, he would work. So what would it take for me to get Rudy Gay? Jamie Lynn not trading. Dwight Howard not trading. We will not trading. Oh my god, you're just gonna ask for all my freaking guys that are my journeyman. Can we do KCP? You can give me I know you Spurs definitely have a journeyman. Paul Pal Gasol. Pal Gasol. Give me Pal Gasol. And I will give you, I will give you Jakar Sam. We're going to acquire five mil. Oh, Brooke Lopez. Perfect. Brooke Lopez and KCP for Rudy Gay and Pau Gasol. Really? 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 How? 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. How much do you want me to overpay? It's ridiculous. Oh, you mean if you... Stop being so annoying. Jesus. Why is this so annoying? Oh, wait. They're going to make me give up Brook Lopez and KCP for Rudy Gay and Patty Mills. So, let's do this. Could I then flip Patty Mills for Mal Gasol? If I can, this game is just broken with its trade logic. Um, all right, let's just go to Proposed Trade. Let's go to the Spurs. Because Pau Gasol technically was on Memphis. LA, Chicago, San Antonio. So, he's been on four teams. And we would be his fifth. So can we trade Patty Mills for him? We would acquire 800k. So you could take Royce O'Neal. Thank you. Thank you. Why couldn't we just do that the first time? Oh my god. Okay. So let's see how many good players we have. We still have to trade Julius Randle. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I need to trade Julius Randle for the ninth. So Julius Randle. I'm honestly just wanting best player available at this point. Who is a journeyman I could get for him? JJ Redick. He has been on one, two, three, four. We would be his fifth. So this is actually a pretty interesting deal. George Hill has been on one, two, three, four. We would be his fifth. So we could do him as well. Uh, Damari Carroll we could also get. But um, I don't know if I really want. I mean, for defensive purposes, yes. And his canner we could also get. Hmm. Actually, yeah, let's do this. So... We're actually going to move Ennis Kane at a power forward. Holy crap, our front court is going to be so weak, but yep, yep, I'm about to do this. I don't know why, but we're. I think this is the best solution for us. So we have an Isaiah Thomas, Wu Will, Tobias Harris, Ennis Kane, Dwight Howard, Rudy Gay, Pau Gasol, Jeremy Lin, Wayne Ellington lineup. Yeah, I, I, I don't think this is the best uh, lineup in the world, but it's the best we can make. So let's give 32 to our big men. Let's give 36 to Tobias, 36 to Isaiah Thomas, and then we'll give 31 to Wu Will. Are we projected to be good? Uh, 2 Sports at least has this at 2. Let me just make sure everyone's been on 5 teams that plays. 
He's been on one, two, three, four, five, and then us will be five. Same with Canner. Dwight Howard definitely works, right? One, two, three, four, five. We're even a six team. We will. Uh, was he drafted by Philly? He was. So Philly's one, Atlanta's two, Toronto's three, LA's four, Houston's five. Okay, if he wants to go back to LA, if you don't want to double count that, uh, Isaiah Thomas, one, two, three. Uh, LA's five because you have to count Cleveland, Rudy Gay, Memphis, Toronto, Sacramento, San Antonio, and then us. So that's five. Lynn, Golden State, New York, Houston, um, LA, Charlotte, Brooklyn, definitely five. Pau Gasol, we kind of talked about him. Memphis, LA, Chicago, San Antonio. Wait. Memphis, LA, Chicago, San Antonio. He was already on LA. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to double count it, so we're going to have to trade him. Who the hell has been on more than four teams? Greg Monroe has been on three. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it. That sucked. That actually does suck. Okay, we could get JaVale McGee for him. Hopefully, whatever team JaVale McGee on has cap space. Uh, of course, it's the Knicks. Knicks, you could give me... Has Courtney Lee been... Oh, you traded Courtney Lee, you bums. Marvin Williams has been on one, two, three, four. We would be his fifth, so I would happily take him. And you can take Darius Miller off my hands. Uh, fine. We'll swap first, if, you, if that makes you happy, New York. All right. We're not going to play Marvin Williams, I think. Uh, actually, yeah, we're not going to play him, but we are going to play JaVale McGee. So that'll be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the first real season. Hopefully, we're a playoff team. All right, guys. So, we finished the season with a whopping 42-40 and 40 record. I actually have no idea if we made the playoffs or not. There's Julius Randle, sixth man of the year. I have no idea if we made the playoffs. I'm hoping we did. Yes, we did as a 17. Let's go. Taking on Houston in round one. We could pull off an upset. You never know. You never know. The Houston side, Dirk. So, Dirk stayed in Texas. Uh, yeah. So, we actually were two games better than the eighth seed, which is fine with me. Player stats, Isaiah Thomas up 21 and 6.6 .6 a game. Tobias Harris, I expected a little bit better out of him. not going to lie. Lou Will, 12 and a half. He's, he's aging. You can see he's gone down like three overalls. Rudy Gay, 11, uh, about 12.6 rebounds off the bench. Dwight Howard averaged a double-double. Same with Canner, so they weren't terrible. I mean, it's not the best front court in the world. It's not the worst. We we're the eighth best offensive team. We were uh, pretty bad defensively. I think we were the 13th worst defensive team. So, I'm not really expecting to win round one, but hey, we could make it a series. We did lose game one by two points. Tobias up 28. Game two, we're down 2-0. We lost by 18. We will jump 25 on his former team, but that wasn't enough. Hey, we won a game. We won by seven. We dropped 135, and we gave up 128 in OT. Tobias dropped 30. Chris Paul dropped 36. Harden dropped 34. Double doubles for Howard, Thomas, and Canner. Oh, my God. We tied it up 2-2. We won 108, 104. Okay, Dwight Howard dropped a double-double. He's a beast. Come on, game five. Damn it. We lost by 10. Ugh. Could we force Could we force a game 7 in LA? What a terrible second quarter. Damn it. That second quarter really hurt us. Like the third and fourth quarter. I bet first and fourth quarter were really good. Third quarter wasn't that bad. It's all about that second quarter. Alright. I don't know how much we can make this team better. But I'm going to try to find more players that we could be making them their fifth team. So I'll see you guys in the offseason with some moves. Now that I think about it, I should have definitely chose a a um an eastern conference team because we definitely could have made it a lot farther throughout this or further farther further without um in the playoffs so if we go to player finder let's just look at any players i'm gonna try to find the best player that would has been on four teams already and possibly trade for them but we'll see so the best player that's been on five teams is ennis canner he's been on right one two three oh my god wait oh my god i'm so dumb I'm so dumb. Oh, I cheated. Oh, I messed this up. And his Canner. Oh my god, you guys probably already typed your comments. And his Canner has only been on four teams. Ah, uh, that's an L. Ah, oh, okay. At least we didn't win it all. If we did, then I would have been like, yeah, that's bad. Okay, so we have to trade him. Um, you know what I could do? Like, we could trade him on day one of next season. He could play a game for some team, and then we could trade him right back. That would work. But... Yeah, I do apologize. I'm sorry. You guys are probably already typed in your comments saying, Matt, Ennis Canner was only on four. I just don't know how to count. I thought there was another team in between here. But damn, I'm dumb. I, I apologize. I apologize. 
Nurkic has only been on... Okay. So, let's just trade him for, like, DeAndre Jordan right now. Um, I just want him off the team, because now I feel bad even having him on the team. Uh, okay. So, Marvin Williams accepts his deal. All right. Damn it. We're going to have, like, no money for free agency, too. Honestly. I mean, unless there's a stud that has been on four teams right now, I'm not going to be really making moves to get somebody. Tobias is a free agent. Oh, yeah. We got to bring back Tobias. We got to bring back Lynn. We got to bring back Dwight. Oh, yeah. We're going to have no money as it is. All right. So we pick up all of them. Yeah. We're going to read out sorry on everybody pretty much. Damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the Ennis Canner thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. So we, we do get all of them, which is nice. How many teams has Avery Bradley been on? One, two, three. Technically, I'm going to do this. I, 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 I'm I going to do this because it's actually whatever team he signs with, I'm going to trade for him. Just because he did, he was on Detroit. You guys know he was on Detroit for like a week. And then, wait. Wait, it doesn't even have his Detroit stats. No, he was on Detroit more than a week. He played half a season on Detroit. So yeah, he's been on four teams. So we're going to go after Avery Bradley whenever this is done or whenever he gets signed, honestly. I just don't have the money. How many seasons has Bogdanovich been on? One, two, ah, oh, he's only been on three. I mean, if a team signs him, I could trade for him, yep. Uh, because then he'd be on four. So, okay, I'm just gonna wait for Avery Bradley to get signed, and then I'm probably gonna trade uh, DeAndre Jordan for him. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, I gotta simulate a little bit, and Dwight Howard is regressing, so is probably Will Will. I just hope I can find a trade for, for, um, uh, we can auto-generate this, honestly. Okay, so let's go Avery Bradley. Let's trade DeAndre Jordan for him. Hopefully, we have the, they have the cap to do that, whatever team we went to. Please tell me, you went to Orlando. Does Orlando have cap? Uh, do you still have, like, Terrence Ross? Yeah, give me Biombo. Uh, first round pick, and you give me Sean Livingston. That's cool with me. Uh, okay, so, technically, we have one, two. Is Livingston a journeyman? He's been on, yep, definitely. So, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Technically, we're good right now. Uh, how tall? Wow, they're all six. They're all so small. Like, Wayne Ellington, if you move him to small forward, I'm sure he doesn't go up. He actually stays at a 77. So, I'm probably going to wait a little bit, and then I'm probably going to try to trade Dwight Howard for Ennis Canner on the Clippers. So, let's send... We could send Bradley, Bradley to untap potential. Uh, let's send Tobias, and then I guess we still got to send Isaiah Thomas. All right, so I'm going to simulate the first week. And then I'm going to trade for Ennis Canner, and I'll see you guys when I'm going to trade for him. Okay, so I do apologize. Uh, I'm going to apologize a lot. I, I'm just, I was just not paying attention, and I thought he played on four teams when we traded for him, but he only played on three. So, is it possible? Oh, my God. Okay, Lakers would acquire five mil. We definitely have some bad contracts. Uh, take, can you take Marvin Williams and give me, like, give me, like, Tony Snell? Okay. Do we have first? We do. Take this first for me. There we go. Okay. So, we pick up Canner. So what, what would the team? I actually think I'm going to move Harris back to power forward. Actually, we're going to keep him at small forward, but play him at power forward. Holy crap, we're going to be such a bad rebounding team. It's going to be unbelievable. So um, we're going to start Bradley, and we're going to play Gay there. So that's the team. Definitely, I think, better than last year. I think the Bradley pickup was huge, especially for his defense. So let's give 10 minutes to... Let's give, like, 15 to Ellington, or 16 to Ellington and McGee. Let's give 21... Actually, let's give 16 to also Wu Will, because he's regressing really hard. Um, let's give 20 there. Let's give 27 to Lynn. 28. Let's give 34 to the big men. I'm actually going to give 36 to Harris. Let's give 30 there. Um, all right. So let's give, honestly, two less to Wu Will, and then we'll give 30 to Bradley. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, let's give actually 29 there, and then we'll give him 32. All right. That'll be it for me now. I will see you guys at the end of the year. I think we could be a little bit better this year. But, hey, if we can get like a 60, that'd be cool. I don't know. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Once again, I do apologize for having Ennis Kenner on the team last year. All right, guys. We were, I think, the two seed at one point. But we are pushing here for either the four or the five seed. Big game here against Minnesota, and we pick up the L. So it looks like we're going to be picking up the five seed. Actually, we could even drop to the six seed. But we do have 42 wins, which already ties what we had last year. Please... Actually, I don't want to be where we are right now. Please don't let us face Houston in round one. Come on, let us face Minnesota. Let us face Minnesota in round one. Let the Spurs weep us. 
Or pass this in the standings, please. No, but I kind of want to lose games right now. Okay, lose against the Spurs, please. Please. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Ugh. How did we get Houston back-to-back? -back? All right. We were one game better than... Oh, my God. Damn it. Uh, Kevin Hurter, rookie of the year. He's the second-round pick. Okay. Jeremy won six man of the year. Let's go. I hope everybody on our team is has been on five or more teams. I didn't mess this up like last year. Don't really see any Lakers, though. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I thought I almost simulated the playoffs. Okay. So, let me just double-check. I'm pretty sure. Canner. Yeah. Yep. LAC now he was on, so that counts. Bradley. He was on Detroit, so... Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't have Detroit in here. I also don't know why for Isaiah Thomas it doesn't have that he was on Cleveland, but I guess they're just trying to forget that like he is. So we're taking on Houston round one. I mean, if we can pull off an upset here and we can take on... Nah, we, we would take on Golden State round two. We're screwed. We would have got the worst odds here in the playoffs. But, hey, we were pretty good this year. I mean, we were definitely better this year than we were last year. Definitely Bradley helping out the defense. Points per game, we were seventh. A lot of points per game, we were pretty bad. We were the 20th worst. Or 20th best, yeah, sure. I that made no sense. But game one, round one, we were we are the lower seed. We do lose by 12 on the road. Javel McGee's our winning score. Yep, that's not a recipe for success. Okay, win by 10 here in game two. Isaiah Thomas drops 27. McGee 12 rebounds off the bench. I'm cool with that. Lou Will's a 79. Game three. Damn it. Ah, oh, we get blown out. Like Tobias Harris and and Isaiah Thomas. I need you guys to put up like 30 a night. <laughs> Is that a lot to ask for? We're down by two with the minute 14. I'm hopping in, because why not? All right, let's get our starters in. At least Tobias Harris is in. He has 22 points, but he is tired, of course. Avery Bradley's got B perimeter D, even though when he's this tired on James Harden. Rudy Gay, I kind of like him in as a stretch four right now. Uh, Bradley on Harden. Oh, that step back is so dirty. That step back is so dirty. That's what everybody like thinks he travels with now. Uh, it's kind of like an infamous thing. Went to the rack. Kick it a Gay. Gay pump. Okay, okay, we're not. All right. Let's get a pick and pop with Rudy Gay going. Uh, oh, my God. It's just so crowded. Rudy Gay for three. Rudy Gay, get in there. Oh, damn it. All right. I can't allow them on the score. Good D, good D. No way he hits that. Why is... Oh, my God. Clint Capella, really? And Harden's going to hit that. No! Let's go. Harden missed that. Oh, my God. Um, all right. Kick it to Bradley. I don't trust him. He's tired. Canner, roll to the rack! Okay. And they're going to auto foul. Okay. Well, this is my... I know this is bad on my part. Um, I just wanted to say, like, you could have just rolled to the rack, Canner. Like, all this is so open. Look at this. How does Capella make this play? All the way back here. Canner. Like, why did he go this way? Go this way. And... Yeah. And, of course, I don't know why Bradley threw it on the left of Harden's shoulder, not on the right. And... We auto-fouled for some reason. Well, I mean, there's 25 seconds left. Well, another game, another time I just blow it. Woo! All right. People have come down 3-1 before. Came back 3-1. So, I have faith in us still. On the road here in Houston. Looks like we're going to be picking up a win here. Let's go. Wow. We Oh, oh my God. Look at that fourth quarter. We almost shook it. But we do pick up the win. Harden, 7 for 15 from the field. All right. 3-2. We're in LA. Please, force a game seven. Good first quarter. Good second quarter. Okay, we won. Game seven. Game seven. Avery Bradley drops 30. Rudy Gay drops 25 and 11. Oh, my God. Come on. We got the momentum right now. We got the momentum. We got the momentum. We got the momentum. We come back 3 to 1. Let's go. Isaiah Thomas drops 22. Canner 28. Oh, my God. Harden choked 4 for 13. Oh, my God. Let's go. We want a playoff series. If we could beat Golden State, that would be nuts. But they do win game 1 by 40, 39. Oh, my God. Okay. Game two. Gonna get blown out once again. Oh my god, okay. Game game three. Let's see how this one goes. We're actually in LA, and it looks like we're gonna be picking up... Nope, nope, I spoke too soon. Wow, wow, now we're down by eight. We were just up by one. They just go on a 9-0 run. Now we're down by eight with two minutes left. Yeah, there's literally no way we win this game. Down 3-0, it's the Warriors. Curry drops 42. 8 for 15 from 3. Can we at least win one game? Or we're we just going to get blown out in all the games? Thanks, 2K, for making this a fun series. We're down by 4. I, I mean, it's probably the last season anyway. Let's let's have some fun with it. Alright, so we're down by 4. We just need... We actually have to get a stop here or we're not going to win. So, let's see what happens. I would like to win a game. If we could pull off this upset, that would be cool. 
Uh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, they're holding the ball so long. No way Curry hits this. Yes, we get the board. Let's go. Kick it to Tobias. Oh my god, that was almost bad. Okay. Um, can we get it? Okay, Kevin Durant's a good defender, but I'm going to go ISO on Tobias. Everybody move. Tobias to the rack. And one. And one, baby. That was so clutch. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Come on. And he's going to miss this, isn't he? You mother... All right, so basically, I got to hit a three here with Isaiah Thomas coming off the ball. A quick three would be huge. I mean, we could still go for a two and hope they miss a free throw. Actually, there is a lot of time on... No! What just happened? Okay. I mean, oh my god, Draymond and him. Let's, I'm, I'm still going to try to go ISO here with Tobias and then try to get a two, which we should. There we go. We're going to foul. Um, I'm actually going to have to turn... I'd rather, I think, Clay shoot these free throws. Okay, there we go. First, I'm going to turn off auto, uh, auto timeout for this um what is it under coaching settings where's coaching settings there it is uh timeout manual and sure all right so we need koi to miss one free throw here and he makes the first one. Oh my god if tobias harris made that free throw this would have been a freaking game uh okay isaiah thomas i'm gonna need you to hit this three i'm gonna need you to hit this three i'm gonna need you to hit this three canner i'm gonna need a screen of course, of course. Rudy Gay hit this. Rudy Gay hit this. Well, we got swept embarrassingly. We're looking like the Portland Trailblazers out here. All right, so yeah, we got swept. I mean, like, that's probably the... Uh, I should have did an Eastern Conference team for this, I think. But yeah, this challenge was very tough, not gonna lie. Because there's not many good players you can use for this challenge. I mean, as years go on, more players will switch teams. And you definitely could, but yeah, I'm going to leave it at two seasons for this one. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know in the comments other ones we could do. Shout out to the man that suggested this challenge. It was um, Sonic Boom. I want to do a CJ McCollum trading video with the Portland Trailblazers rebuild. I want to do, I think, a Kawhi Leonard Clippers rebuild. And uh, I think we're going to do like a Billy King rebuild. But let me know other rebuild suggestions in the comments below. Hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry for not doing so well in this. I mean, we did win a playoff series and we came back from 3-1. So that's a... That's a a success for me. So that's me for me. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.